Try, try again. I encourage you all, try, try again. I never understood why people are so hard on themselves or people are re ready to walk away and just throw their hands up once they've tried something the first time, didn't get it right, the 10th time, the 50th time, the 100th time. So what? Give it another try. We've all heard the legend of Thomas Edison trying to invent the light bulb. It's said that he tried 10,000 times before he got that bulb to light up. Now, he could have looked at it on the 9,999th time as, you know what, this is never going to work. I'm sick of this. You know, I have tried to figure this out every which way from Sunday and it'll just never happen. But he didn't have that mentality. He had the mentality of, you know what? I have figured out 9,999 different ways that this won't work. And let me just go back to the drawing board and rework some calculations. And here on the 10,000 or so time, he hits the switch and the light bulb comes on. We got to really rethink the way that we look at these challenges or these obstacles. Like, let's just be honest with ourselves. There is nothing, I mean, we're human beings. There are very few of us that come out of the womb and we're just experts at something. Now, from what I understand, there is a very small fraction of the population that are these savants. Like, you know, they can go and see a piano for the very first time and really just study those keys and then they get on it and they're playing away. All of a sudden, they're Mozart. But that, you know, that, that doesn't really apply to the majority of the human race. We learn through repetition. We learn through doing things again and again, failing again and again, and finally we get it right. You know, let's think about this in real life terms. Cooking, just something that most people do every day. How many meals did you have to burn? How many meals were over seasoned or under seasoned before you got it just right? Or, you know, going out for, for, for our driver's test. There's a reason why, you know, there's a written test and then you study and you um, take that road test. But even then, you know, day after day, week after week, year after year of you behind that wheel is what's going to make you go from a bad driver to a good driver to a better driver and hopefully one day an expert driver. Malcolm Gladwell wrote a best-selling novel called um, The Outliers. In this book, he, he highlights um, the fact that it takes the average person, the average person, at least 10,000 hours of practice before you can be considered an expert in any area of your life. 10,000 hours of practice. So let's really break that down. 10,000 hours, if you did not sleep, if you had the ability to stay awake and work and work 24 hours a day, it would take you well over a year of beating on your craft before you can be considered an expert. But most of us, we don't have that kind of time. None of us can stay up for over a year straight. Yeah, we're willing to put in eight, 10, 12 hours a day. Even if you did 10 hours a day, let's say, for seven days a week, no days off, it would take you over three years before you hit that 10,000 hour mark. So stop giving up on yourself. You know, if, if it took over three years to hit that 10,000 mark and, and you, to, for you to be considered an expert, why are you giving up on yourself so early, especially if you're not dedicating at least 8, 10, 12 hours a day at your craft? There's a reason why, you know, we could just think in team sports. There's a reason why, you know, people are in the gym and they're shooting, 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 shooting away because they want to make sure what's done in the dark or, or better yet, you know, you see the baseball players there in spring training and, you know, coaches got these guys running outside and it's hot and they're sweating, but they're practicing these drills and they're practicing throwing and hitting and all these different things because they want to make sure all that they do in the dark, when the lights are not on, when there's no cameras, there are no reporters there, they want to make sure that when they finally come to the light, 
what they have done in practice. It's just, you know, another day at the park. It's just another day in the gym. Now they're experts. They are playing on elite levels, but they didn't start out that way. It was years and years of, you know, little league and, and going up and playing for your high school and your college. And finally you get bumped up and you're in the big leagues now. Nobody just started with the ability to play at that high level. So why are you holding yourself to such a high standard? Stick with it. Don't give up. It's there for you. The people who are doing exactly what you want to do, the people who have made a name for themselves in the industry that you're trying to get in, I can assure you, long before you ever knew their name, they were putting in their hours at the gym, figuratively. I guess I'll leave you guys with a quote because it means a lot to me and, I hopefully, and hopefully it will help you. The master has tried and failed more times than the amateur has even tried. Something for you to think about. Peace and love make every move a power move and I'll catch you all on the next video. What's up guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.